In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how the Video Collage Designer has been integrated with the Multicam Designer in version 17. Before, they were separate tools, but now they work together. Let me show you how. We often might assume that in order to begin this process, we start out in the Video Collage Designer, which you can get to by clicking on the Puzzle Piece or the top menu that says Plugins and clicking on the submenu Video Collage Designer. When I look in this designer, I have several options. If I drag down on the right, I have a box that says Advanced Settings. I'm going to click on that. And here we have the new fourth option on playback timing. It says from Multicam Designer. However, it's grayed out. I can't activate it. I'm going to cancel out of this because the way you begin the process is not with the Video Collage Designer, but with the Multicam Designer. So we'll cancel out of that screen. We'll go back to our Plugins menu, and then we'll choose our Multicam Designer. Here we have a screen that's very similar to what we saw in version 16. I'm going to take both clips shot at the same time of the same subject and put one in camera one track and one in camera two track. I will import it from the media room. We'll take speaker one and import that into my camera one track. And now I'll switch to camera two, hit the plus key, import from the media room speaker two. And this is similar to what we would have done in version 16. We'll have a separate tutorial, by the way, showing you how to operate the multicam designer in version 17. What I need to do before I go to the video collage with these two clips is I need to synchronize them. I'm going to use the audio analysis right now and simply click on apply. Again, we'll deal with that separately in a different tutorial. But now I have the two tracks, the two camera shots of the same subject synchronized on camera track one and camera track two. What's new in version 17 is I'm not going to produce this as a single video, which was my only option in the previous version. Now I have this button that says Video Collage. I'm going to click on it, and I have a warning screen telling me that uh, I have to make sure they're synchronized. I'm, I'm going to click on Do Not Show Again uh, so I don't have this pop up every time. You can leave it on or off. And then I will say Yes to continue. Now in version 17 of PowerDirector, it moves me directly into the Video Collage Designer. Since I only have two clips that were shot at the same time in a multicam setting, it gives me by default two different frames, but I'm not stuck with two frames. Let me move to another option and click on a three frame layout and click on OK. And now I have three frames. I can move the speaker who's now in frame number two at the top, and drag it down and swap with frame number three. And then I can take something else, either a still picture or a different video, and drop that into track number two at the top, adjust it any way I want. And now I can have a combination of multi-cam, the same speaker from two different angles, and as many other frames as I want, up to seven. And so if I play this in the preview screen, we'll see the animation come in since I didn't turn it off. And then I have the same speaker from two different angles, and I have my still shot, which could just as easily be a video clip. When I'm done, I'm going to click on the OK, and PowerDirector 17 will take that video collage that I've just designed and drop it back into my track on my main timeline. And here we see it moving in the previous screen in the upper right. The other thing you can do is if you're not satisfied with it, you can highlight it. Click back on the Video Collage button above the timeline. It will take you back into the Collage Designer 
and you can make some more edits there. But that's how the integration works between the video collage designer and the multi-cam designer in CyberLink PowerDirector version 17.